Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this. More like this. Using these easy steps. The first thing you're going to need to do is to find any one of these preset green screen transitions off the internet. I went to this website right here. I will leave this link right in the description below. And you're going to use any of these. So let's say we want to use this one. There should be a green thing. The whole screen is green, which is a green screen in the background, with the transition like that. And once you found the one you like, you're just going to press download, and it should appear right down here. Once it's done downloading, it will be in your downloads, and you, and you can just move it to the file to where you want it to go. So, let's see, that one is right here. So now it is downloaded onto the computer. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is open up your video editor, whatever you use to edit your videos. And you can do this effect with anything that supports chroma key. So you can find out if your video editor does chroma key or not. So you're going to select what you want. I'm using these two skiing clips that I want to merge together as a transition. So I'm going to select both of them and then drag them into my editor right here and wait for it to load so here they are right here so I'm gonna take the first clip that I want and put it in the main track right there and then take my second clip and put it right next to it so right now the transition is just there's no transition this is all it is moves right to the next one and there is preset transitions that are probably in your editor but you want something cooler like one of these so you're gonna go back to your file take the one that you want and drag it right into your editor and now that it's right here you're gonna want to drag it onto your overlay track one just like that and when you put this in it's still gonna be a green background so when you play it, it's just going to show this on the screen with the green background. It's not going to be what you want. So starting off, you want this to fill the whole screen. So you're going to select it, right click, and do fit to screen. So this will fill your whole screen. But you still have the problem that it's green that, and you don't want it to be green. So you're going to select it, and right click it, and go open option panel. And then right here, it's going to say Mask and Chroma Key. You're going to want to click that. And then it'll say Apply Overlay Options. You're just going to select that box. And now all the green is gone. And if it's not like the best green screen where it changes colors, you can use the color picker and pick what you want. So if I pick this right here, it would only select that and make that transparent, but not the green. So you're going to want this to be the part that's transparent. And now right here, you can play it, and that should be kind of your transition, but right here, you can see, you can kind of see through it. It's a little bit transparent, and that will make it so you can see through right where the transition is happening, and it just kind of takes the whole effect away from it. But first, you're just going to want to align it to where the squares cover the whole screen, and that's when you're going to want the want to actually cut the video to the other to the next one. So right there, that's perfect. All the squares are covering it and it's going to switch to the next one and then go away. But you can see right now it's still transparent. So we're going to want to go right here and on other editors it might just be making it not opaque, not uh uh not transparent. You can just put it down to 0 so it would be completely solid. But on Corel Video Studio, you're just going to take this and drag it right there and now it should be completely solid so this is your transition very easy it's a little bit laggy but that's because it's just in this part of the editor so now you can press share and you can export your video quick tip if you find that one of your transitions is too long and takes up too much of your video right click and select speed and time lapse 
and change it to 200, which will make it two times the speed, which will make the transition shorter and go by faster. So now you can have more of your video to show and then the transition, which is shorter. Once you're in the share tab, you're just gonna you're just gonna want to name it. So uh, you can just call this skiing, or whatever your video is about, and select where you want it to go, and then you're gonna press start, and it's just gonna start downloading it. So now we can compare what they both look like side by side. guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys can be the first one to find out when a new video comes out bye see you next time